Hey everybody, this is Nemo and in today's quick tip, we will see how to enable the jQuery date picker for PrestaShop customization fields. This can be used in a variety of ways. Uh, for example, if your website offers hotel reservations or maybe you want to let your customers pick a delivery date for their orders. So actually adding a date picker itself is, is easier than it might seem. So first off, let's add a new customization field to one of our products. I chose this t-shirt here for the sake of the example and I will add, as I mentioned before, a delivery date field. So I will reach the back office, Kellogg products, scroll down manly t-shirt. Alright, so click on the customization tab. We need one text field, save and stay, and then we'll name this delivery date. Of course, I will make it required. And again, save and stay. Great. Now, let's check it back in the front office. So scroll down. Yep, here it is. Now, in its raw state, it allows us to add any kind of text. But we want the date picker there. Um, I will not cover the validation process so you will have to expand over what we're about to do if you want these fields to only accept dates bear this in mind so in order to enable the date picker we first need to add the necessary plugin and to make it quick I will add directly to the product controller file but you might want to use overrides instead on your own installation so I will open up controllers front product controller and I'm interested in the set media method so I will add it when not using the mobile theme in my case but again it's up to you to choose where to add it so I will add this add jQuery UI UI dot date picker Okay, save. Next up, let's modify the product template. So I will use, of course, as always, the default bootstrap template. So let's go back, themes, default bootstrap, and let's find product.tpl. So let's look for the ID text fields. I will use the quick search text fields. All right, it's this one. So let's see, should be this one. As you can see, it's a text area by default, but we want a normal text input here. So let's change it. First off, I will just comment it out. All right. And then input, actually we'll use a, a snippet, which is not working. Okay, input type text. name actually let's copy it from here name let's copy everything here all right so let's add a new class to it which is custom date picker and you will see it you will see why I'm doing this in a second and then let's use the value of the text area inside here as well value equals this one here. right let's get rid of returns okay so I'm using a custom class so that I can later target it when calling the date picker so say lastly as I said we want to call this date picker method on our new field so right below this and make sure you're outside of for each I will do it here, but you can use product.js instead. So we'll add a script tag. And I'm using shortcuts here. I'm cheating, but uh, make sure you use that document ready uh, wrapper for this code. And then dot custom date picker date picker. Okay. We should be done, so let's check back our front office. Unless I made some big mistake. All right. Yep, 
and there is. Perfect. All right, so as you can see, it was not too complicated to add the date picker itself. But remember, you might want to add a further level of validation with PHP in case someone adds a text not representing a valid date. Okay, so this is everything for today's quick tip. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.